Let's take a look at how we can create a quick self-signed certificate in Windows Server 2016 just by using PowerShell. So let's go down to a PowerShell command. And if you don't have one listed in your toolbar, you can just go ahead and type run and then type in PowerShell and it'll come up. And let's go ahead and take this command that you see at the top. So the first part of the command is the new self-signed certificate. Then after that, it says the cert store location. And you can see here it says cert local machine my. So I'm going to show you where that actually ends up after we create it. It's really easy to find. Then we're going to give it the DS, DNS name as cert1. Now, if you're part of a domain, this automatically gets appended to cert1 dot whatever your domain name is if you're using Active Directory. If you're not using Active Directory, it's just going to be cert1. So if you want to make it a longer name or give it a more fully qualified looking domain name, you can do that as well. Now, the second line is just as important because what it does is it adds a password into our certificate and that's going to allow us to export the certificate later uh, that if we want to to export and then import into other locations such as um, you could use it for remote desktop services internet information server and, and other types of applications that you where you could use a self-signed certificate or any type of certificate all right so we've got the uh, command here so let's go ahead and type this in and let's make sure that it works for us okay and hit enter and we see the certificate's been added. Now we're going to add our second command. And it's done. Next thing we want to do is we need to go to Microsoft Management Console. So type in MMC from a command prompt. And that brings up our console. Now, you don't have to have uh, a certificate authority server to do this. You can just do it exactly like we did no matter what. And it even works on Windows 10 as well. Let's go to Add, Remove, Snap In, and go down to Certificates. And we're going to add it for the computer account. Click Next. We're going to choose Local Computer. Click Finish. And there's the certificate Snap In over there on the right-hand side. Click OK, and there it shows up on our left-hand side of our screen and we click in personal and certificates and look at that there's our cert one certificate and you can now use the certificate for any purpose that requires one the alternative to this would be to go in to IIS and you could uh, request a new certificate using what's called a CSR you could create one in a certification authority uh, root certificates uh, area, you could do that as well. But this is just a quick way to do this using a command prompt. And like I said, it does work on Windows 10 Workstation as well.